CG Dream can generate unreal AI images in minutes for free. I'll show you the quality it produces, how many images you can actually generate for free, compare it with the best AI alternatives. Because I partnered with CG Dream on this video, I can go in depth in every single feature, even images of yourself. So by the end of this video, you'll become a CG Dream expert. So the first thing you might be wondering about is the quality of the images itself. And just by looking at the homepage, I can say that the quality is top of the line. I wanna show you some of the favorite photos that I found on the gallery page. Here you can see some beautiful type of Viking woman with all these beautiful detailed tattoos. Here is the version of Santa that your mom was thinking about when she sang. Santa baby. <clears throat> so anyways, here you have a generation of a fractal type coral face that you aren't able to create in any other software. At least I've tried and you just see the incredible detail of these images. But you might be wondering, how free is it really? When we check out the free plan, CG Dream has one of the most generous free offers that I've seen from any AI image generator specifically because you can generate flux images. If you know, this is my favorite type of image generation and that you can generate 450 fast images and 150 quality flux images is just amazing. And the main benefit of upgrading is that you can skip the queue that it takes to generate images for free. So let me show you how to generate an image for free. As you can see, when you're on the homepage, we have a text bar in the bottom. This is where we can describe what you wanna see or select an image from the gallery. They obviously have image to image as well as style transfer and a lot of other things, but I wanna focus on text. I'm gonna prompt it a huge bodybuilder tiger standing in front of a Harley Davidson. Then I'm gonna click on generate and here are the results. Definitely a crazy generation, but I haven't even shown you the best thing with CG Dream. So right now I like this image, but I don't actually love this image. I would like for it to be a little bit of a different vibe. And that's where filters come in. CG Dream has these LoRa based filters that is basically a model on top of the image generator that creates these incredibly detailed styles that you aren't able to do in many other image generators. This makes it particularly easy for beginners that don't have any previous prompt engineering skills because it's as simple as looking at any of these and thinking, yeah, I would like to add this style. So I'm gonna search for animal and I wanna add this filter here. That looks pretty cool with them being all closed. This overgrown filter looks cool as well. And let's add this forest filter as well. Now in the bottom here, you can see that we have the different levels that we want this to affect it. So I actually want the clothed animal filter to be at 100%. And I'll turn the other ones down a little bit and click on generate. And now you can see that it turned way different. This one is almost a cinematic Hulk barbarian forest guardian. It is missing the Harley Davidson though. So this one is the one that is with the Harley Davidson. Jesus Christ, you've been doing bull steroids it almost looks like a dog face on his belly <laughs> okay i'm getting too excited let's do another image generation i'm gonna prompt it gorgeous norwegian woman staring seductively into the camera in an all white and gold dress and then i'm gonna go over to the filters delete the ones we have and it's gonna suggest some of these filters let's do woman fantasy Let's do angel and let's even try this material marble. I'll set all the filters to max. And then I wanna show you on the right side of the main settings, we can choose the different variations. The model Juggernaut XL, don't recommend this one compared to Flux. The quality and speed fast and quality. From my testing, the fast generation is still really good. It's just a little bit lower quality. And then they have the auto enhance short prompt, seed and negative prompts. So we can add blur, distortion and things like that. But you might be wondering how this is gonna look like. So 
let's generate. And here are the generations that we got back. Obviously, they're very high quality and they look really good, but I was thinking more of a fantasy angle. So what I'm actually gonna do and a different way of generating is to go to the gallery, select an image that you actually want to generate. And then in the bottom, you can generate a very similar style and see what type of filters that they actually have. You can also see that it was generated by the fast mode. So yeah, the quality is pretty high. So instead of Mr. Claus, I'm gonna do gorgeous Norwegian Viking woman in the beginning of this prompt and generate. And just like that, we got an image way closer to what I thought of in my imagination. But there is one more button that they have in the bottom called dream where we can make a simple prompt and CG dream will dream up a very creative prompt. Let's generate and here are the results that we got. Also, some of you have been asking if you can create not safe for work images and you can that if you toggle on the private mode and make the prompt a little bit more explicit. But you might be wondering how does CG Dream compare with some of the other best AI image generators? So Leonardo.ai is one of the most popular free AI image generators. So if we go to the top and select their new Phoenix model and do this huge bodybuilder tiger prompt, this is the result that we get. I think I did something wrong because it looks pretty bad. Let's try doing the cinematic preset style and I don't have anything else on. And this is the second result that we got. It really looks more like a 3D render or some bad Photoshop in comparison with this bulky boy. And do you remember how badass he looked with just a couple of filters? But what about ChatGPT image generation? I'll use the exact same prompt and this is what we got. Let's do the same, but aspect ratio 16 by nine. And this one is actually pretty good. Let's compare them in realism with the same prompt as this. <laughs> That's terrifying. Let's try to regenerate that. This is the second generation. And my opinion on ChatGPT's image generator Dolly 3 is that around three months or so, they changed it so it's not as good as it used to be. Like I used to rely on it in my work before, but unfortunately most of the images get this really plasticky high contrast look. Just look at the comparison image it's not even a close comparison, but you can also easily remix images with just filters and dream up. So you can go to any of the images here and just click on it like this one that I found. And now instead of changing the prompt, we're just gonna go to the filters and instead of a earthy tone, we're gonna have molten lava. I think that's gonna turn out really cool. Just remember to click on dream up to make this happen. While we're waiting, I'm gonna try the material root and ivy and vine. Dream up again. And here we have the molten lava hand. I really like this one, especially with the people in the bottom. And here, we have more of a dystopian hand with vines and roots all over. This one as well kind of has a path leading up to it. And I kind of want it in a better quality. So I'm going to click on the 2X here. And as you can see, we now have a lot more quality, especially because this one is so detailed with the roots and the leaves. Upscaling it really helps get that crisp quality. It really is a night and day difference. Difference. But did you know you can create an image without a prompt just by combining filters? All you need to do is click on the filters and then click on the character. As you can see, it allows you to create anything from dinosaurs to fish to mythological creatures and cartoon cute monsters like a kid in a candy shop. I want to create a knight, so I'll click on that. I'm going to use the woman realistic. Then I'll go over to abstract where we can select a bunch of really cool styles like dynamic abstract shapes. And now without any prompt, I'll select three images and click on dream up. Now we just wait for the result. All are you joking? I think I'm in love. We made this without even prompting. But you might be wondering, what is this 3D model button in the top? And what are all these structure, image, and character drag and drop? So let me show you 3D to image. 
As you can see, they have a bunch of 3D models in here. And what that allows you to do is we can click on this beautiful image of a Porsche 911, select the angle that we want, write a prompt, select some filters. I'm going to click on antique car and the natural landmarks filter. And as you can see, the images are generated in the exact way we put the 3D model, which is incredible for concept artists. But what about structure to image? So say, for example, we love this image here and the way there's buildings on the sides and in the middle, a giant structure, we can upload it choose the strength of structure and try changing it to a utopian paradise generate. And as you can see, we just took the exact same structure of the previous image to make something new. But what about image to 3D model? All you need to do is to upload or find an image that you really like and click on this button in the bottom. As you can see, this image turned into this 3D model. It did really well specifically because this one is a really simple one to do. I also tried some crazier generations like this and it actually managed to get most of the character correct. You would just add this to Blender, add some more shape, and add the right leg and arm. And you basically saved hours of manually trying to 3D sculpt this on your own. Even crazier, I can now place him anywhere in the frame that I want and prompted giant pizza monsters smashing cars, add a couple monster filters, explosion, electricity abstract, generate, and this is what we got from image to 3D and back again. But can you generate images of yourself? As you can see, you can upload an image of a character. So I'm gonna upload an image of my face. I'll select the strength of a character to 100 and I'll prompt it Norwegian man with a hair in a bun at the beach. Um, let's delete and delete with winter clothes on. There we go. It's actually not that far off. And I guess if I would generate multiple different variations like an astronaut in space, it's actually making a consistent character. So I actually like this painting quite a bit but I wanna change a part of it. And with that, we can do in painting. So I can, for example, hover over this right glove and I'm not sure if this is gonna work. I'll prompt it alien weapon and click on in paint. What are those? What is that? So I showed you everything from the text to the image, to the 3D to in painting. Oh shit. Go to the description down below and check out CG Dream to make your own free images now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.